Mr. Offlin said Brexit has opened up new trade opportunities for the UK, including the chance to strengthen ties with other Commonwealth nations. The UKIP politician said I believe the United Kingdom's International Trade Secretary Dr. Liam Fox may be a few steps ahead of the EU in this regard. If indeed the prospect of Brexit is serving as a catalyst for the EU to reduce its tariff walls against the sunrise parts of the global economy then that is yet another benefit of the United Kingdom's magnificent decision to rejoin the global family of independent, sovereign nations. EUROPARLTV Getty Patrick Offlin said Brexit will help the UK strengthen trade ties with a global partner speaking during the European Parliament plenary session. Mr Offlin added that Brexit will allow the UK to put an end to EU tariff barriers currently affecting trade with countries such as Australia and New Zealand. He continued it's sort of regarded as a sort of shame in Britain that, in the 1970s our country threw up tariff barriers against our historic Commonwealth friends such as Australia and New Zealand. That is a wrong that is soon to be righted as the United Kingdom broadens out its economic and diplomatic relationships across the world, raising the priority we give to Commonwealth nations as well as seeking to sustain links with member states of the European Union. Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull announced his country was ready to enter trade talks with the UK as soon as Brexit becomes official. During a visit to London in July 2017, Mr Turnbull said as Britain moves forward to completing its exit from the EU, we stand ready to enter into a free trade agreement with the UK as soon as the UK is able to do so. Once Brexit is achieved, we look forward to speedily concluding a free trade agreement. At the same time, we are looking forward to the early conclusion of a free trade agreement with the EU, Australia and the UK have a long-established economic and trade relationship, with 208 trade worth around $29.1 billion on £16.7 billion in 2016 alone. Brexit talks are currently deadlocked after EU Chief Negotiator Michel Barnier called on the UK to provide more clarity on its Brexit end goals. EU leaders are expected to decide whether to move on to phase two of the Brexit negotiations, trade, during the last EU summit in December.